Hi, how's it going? Welcome to another video. In this video, I thought I would share with you the one word that I changed in the golden key to make it much easier for me to use it and get benefit out of it. It removes any resistance in my own mind and my own consciousness. It allows the golden key to get in and do the work that it was meant to do, that Emmett Fox designed it to do. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because the golden key essay, which I share in episode two of Enhancing the Human Experience podcast, which is over two years old, has been by far my most popular video. And it's not even a video, actually. It's just the audio version paired with a still image that was episode two of the podcast. And so I'm thrilled that that's been well, so well received. And to date, it's had over 29,000 views. And I've received a lot of positive feedback from that episode. And I think that's just because people love The Golden Key by Emmett Fox. So one of my other popular episodes was when I shared the golden key cards that I created a couple years back. Well, maybe it's been three or four years at this point, but the golden key cards were just the heart or the essence of the golden key on a little business size card. And incidentally, I should say that I always include these now in the conscious creators package, which is available at focusandflow.co when you spend over $100 in the store on products and apparel there. And I'm always adding little things to that package to you know, share the value of these spiritual metaphysical tools to help you overcome the problems and situations you're facing in your own life because I've realized so much benefit out of these tools. But I wanted to shoot this little video here, one, because a lot of stuff that I talk about with the Golden Key is popular on my channel and I wanted to share this one word that I change in the golden key that removes any resistance, helps me use it in a better way. And I think it will be beneficial to you on your journey. The word that I change is the word God. And the reason that I do that is because God has a lot of ideas attached to it. You know, in the history of the human race, a lot of good things have been done in the name of God and a lot of not so great things have been done in the name of God, to put it lightly. Let's just call it what it is. Because of that, because of those ideas and those connotations that are attached to that word, our consciousness can reject that word or it can have funny things going on in our vibration when we say that word, right? And when it comes to such a powerful tool like the golden key, and I'm going to share it with you here in a moment, the, the one sentence that is the golden key, um, we want it to get into our consciousness, we want it to get into our mind and really do the work that it's meant to, to do. If that word, God, has negative connotations for you, you're not going to receive the full benefit of the golden key, and ultimately your life is not going to be improved in the way that it could be. So I'm going to share with you the one word that I replace God with that has zero resistance for me and allows me to use the golden key in the best possible way. So the word that I replace God with is the word source. And I get a lot of this from Abraham Hicks, um, knowledge and wisdom they share with us. The reason I replace God with source is because source and God in my mind ha are synonymous and source has none of the negative connotations that God does because it's just more of a pure feeling for me. Now what I invite you to do is to choose the word that you feel resonates the most with you. Maybe it's not source for you. Maybe it's universal intelligence. Maybe it's divine intelligence. Maybe it's consciousness or whatever else that you feel is going to be synonymous with the word God is going to give you the same idea of the creator or the engine behind all the experiences that is, you know, creating this world that we live in, the universe, the galaxies, the engine behind that, but has zero resistance. Because again, you want it to get into your consciousness. You want it to be a really effective tool because the gold key is super awesome. I keep this card by my computer most of the time. I carry it in my pocket a lot of the time. I keep them in my car because it's a really powerful tool to help us shift our consciousness. Because again, like Emma Fox said, life is a state of consciousness. And when you have a consciousness that is focused on the you know fear, doubt, anxiety, troubles that you're facing in your day-to-day -day life, you're not going to be able to transcend those problems, right? You're not going to be able to have the help from a higher power, which is the God or the source or divine intelligence to help you heal those things or help you remove your attention from those things. Let's put it that way as well. So that's what I do is I change the word God. I put source in its place. So the golden key 
for me, reads like this. Stop thinking about the difficulty, whatever it is, and think about source instead. And so when I think about source, I think about, you know, infinite creativity, infinite wisdom, divine intelligence. Source can do anything and everything. And so when I feel stuck or when I feel like I'm not progressing or I'm having a challenging situation or I'm feeling anxious or worrisome about something in my business or my life, I read the golden key, stop thinking about the difficulty, whatever it is, and think about source instead. And then I kind of ruminate on what source is and I let that kind of go through my body and flow through my body and my consciousness and I kind of embody the essence of source and I feel how would source feel in this moment, right? How would source feel doing this task that I'm doing? How would source approach this? What would be the the playfulness and the openness and the willingness that source would bring to this situation. And I got to tell you, it is a game changer. So I hope that's helpful to you on your journey. Again, replacing the word God with the word source in my case, you choose what word you would like to replace it in your case and just try it out. If God doesn't have any negative connotations for you or any meanings that would make it let more or less difficult to accept that, then you're fine. You're good to go with the golden key. For some people, God doesn't have that, right? But for me, I find I get a much better result when I replace the word God with source. Now, I, I should say, um, you know, I'm certainly not second guessing Emmett Fox's knowledge and intelligence. I'm just doing this from a personal standpoint, right? That's the, the, the thing that we have to do as human beings. We've got to take what other people have created and say, how is this working for me? How can I change it to work better? Because we're always, you know, looking for those ways to improve the tools and processes that are available to us. So I think it's really powerful to do, and I hope that you um, receive some benefit of this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. That would be super awesome. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this to help you get more of what you want in your business and your life. And by the way, if you are into tools to help you create more success in business and life, I want to invite you to check out my website, gmarkphillips.com, and sign up to my mailing list. Because one of the things that I do is I create tools to help you tune into the experiences that you want to have and help you fix your thoughts and emotions so that you're more in alignment with the success and prosperity and abundance that you want to have in your business and your life. And these tools are based on intellectual knowledge, spiritual knowledge, metaphysical knowledge. And then I simplify them to help you use them in a really efficient way to create the things you want to create, create value, express your divinity, do the things that are beneficial to other people. And so that you can have more success in your life. Again, you can find those at gmarkphillips.com and sign up for my mailing list. There's a link in that welcome email that will take you to a folder that will allow you to download all these tools. And I'm always updating or tweaking or modifying these tools to make them simpler and more, more efficient, more effective. So you'll see a version number in the name of each of those tools. And so you always know whether you have the latest and greatest tool. You can check back to that download folder all the time. And I'm even including tools that I didn't create, things that I picked up on my journey, things from people like Stephen Pressfield, uh, Carl Jung, and all sorts of other ideas and concepts. Again, to put in your toolbox so that you can tune in to the things and experiences you wanna have, be a more conscious creator. So you can check that out at gmarkphillips.com. All right, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Until next time, all the best, health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye.